Hello everybody, uh, it's the 11th of April 2021 today and this rather underwhelming specimen is a Catalpa abiginoides, the Indian bean tree, um, which I bought on a whim at the end of last summer um, online. Uh, it came in this tiny little pot which it's pretty much outgrown and uh, the buds are beginning to swell now um, and so I'm going to put it into a, a seed tray and uh, let it grow on for this summer and see how it develops. I'm going to make this a timey-wimey uh, video so I don't know when you'll actually be seeing this but it won't be the anywhere near the 11th of April it'll be much later in the summer hopefully there'll be something more to show you uh, than just a, a stick. First thing I'm going to need to do is um, try and get it out of this pot um, and uh, so I'm just going to chop through these roots that have grown out of the bottom of the pot. Um, they're not going to help me get it into a, a shallow container anyway so we'll just get rid of those. So there we go, that should come out, there we are, easily enough. Um, it's a nice healthy little plant, it didn't cost me very much as I say, I just bought it online and um, I want to grow it into quite a big tree eventually, uh, but for now I just want to get it used to being in a shallow container um, with some extra room so it can grow some more um, and start to fatten up and maybe we chop it down a little bit to get some taper. So let's see uh, if we can find some surface roots. And there are a few, which is nice. There's a big old root there. And not an unreasonable little Navari straight away, so that's quite good. Um, I'm going to try and clean off some of this gacky soil, not all of it, but um, a chunk of it, so that we can get it into this little pot or shallow pot. And all these round and round roots aren't really going to be much help anyway, so. Because I'm not really going to have to do a huge amount. There are a couple of big roots in there that I do want to get rid of that are going to prevent it from sitting flat. So let's do that. And then actual fact um, I think the rest of these roots are going to sit flat in the pot anyway. So that's going to be quite helpful. I'll be able to spread those roots out in the pot. Um, and then as they grow and extend, they can help to grow and extend out the flare at the base of the trunk as well. So that's nice. Before I actually put it in the pot, I'm going to chop it down. Um, that just means it's less of the top of the tree to be wiggling around um, and I, as I say I want to try and get some movement and a bit of taper into this tree from right from the beginning. Um, the taper isn't unreasonable but that won't stay like that as the tree grows um, and it's always going to be dead straight unless I do something about that so I'm going to chop it there um, and then the tree can go in and it's going to sit with the nabari as is, probably at that sort of angle. And then I'll see where the bud actually breaks and uh, chop back to it later in the spring. The soil that this actually came in wasn't as yakky as I 
expected or even as it appeared from the um, first glance because most of it is now fallen away from the root ball which is nice um, so I'm going to have to work a little bit harder to get it all in contact with the substrate and make sure that we don't get any air pockets but uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue okay now this flared out quite nicely um, I've obviously already put some controlled release fertilizer in the substrate below and uh, now it's just going to be a question of topping up around this tree Now, perfect. Pop this label back in so I know what it is until the sparrow or whatever it is that keeps nicking the labels pulls it out again. There we go. So that's it. I'm going to give that a drink um, and I'll do a bit more filming on and off through the year. Okay, 22nd of May. Uh, this is the Catalpa. And, uh, and this one is shot out all over the place and uh, is looking much prom more promising than some of the other new trees I've started off this year. Um, I'm going to chop it to there, which is the highest of the new buds. Um, eventually want to have this as a reasonably sized tree. Um, so that it will eventually give me the um, seed heads maybe and uh, it will need a bit of height to accommodate those hanging down so but for now it's growing away quite happily it's the 12th of June now and this Catalpa Vignoides I have no idea if that's how you pronounce that word but there you go it's the Indian bean tree it's growing away nicely I'm not going to touch it at this point um, part of me is tempted uh, just <laughs> to give it a pinch over um, but realistically this needs to be a, a fairly large bonsai um, to accommodate the eventual seed pods and flowers that hang down um, rather like uh, runner beans or something hence the name so I'm not going to do anything with it except pop it back on the bench feed and water it and we'll revisit it from time to time um, and watch its progress so here we are on the 9th of July this tree is growing away quite nicely now um, I'm in two mines what to do with it. Um, I think I'm going to use the same technique I've used with other trees and I'm going to uh, wire this tree or wire this trunk down um, which will allow it to keep growing and help fatten the trunk um, but allow this leader to take off straight upwards and uh, swell the base a bit more I'm still looking at this being a, a longer term project of a fairly large tree um, but I want to build the the trunk in stages so that I get a reasonable amount of uh, taper and movement what I don't want is you know a straight thin trunk top to bottom of uniform thickness so all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to actually start the wiring part way up because I think it, this is actually going to be a, a sacrifice branch. I don't see this as being a twin trunk project. So just a little bit of wire. I have no worries if it cuts in or anything because I will lose this branch. But all I'm doing is just bringing it out to the side. It can then grow away. Um, and as I say, fatten this base some more 
this will become the leader for this year and uh, I'm actually going to put a piece of wire on that as well much more loosely this time because I do mind if this piece swells just because I want this to as I said have a bit of movement so I'm just bringing that back over this way so we have a little bit of movement and a little bit towards the front yeah that'll do It's the 8th of August and uh, it's been growing really well. All this is new growth this year. The wire is beginning to dig in so I'm going to remove that and uh, stop that scarring getting any worse. This branch I want to continue to bring down so I have another one of those uh, brass plumbing pieces for a hose pipe kicking around in the shed that I'm not using so I'm just going to use that with a piece of wire and then make a little hook and catch it over that leaf node like so and it's not quite got enough leverage there so if we move it further along there we go that's given it a little bit more leverage pulled that branch down a little more and uh, we'll give you a quick turn around you can see we've got a lot of weeds so we'll just wake them out quickly like so a lot of grass, grass seed coming in. Probably I've been trying to reseed parts of the lawn and uh, that hasn't been a great success. Still have some bare patches, but I seem to have got lots of grass seed blown back off the lawn into some of the pots. So perhaps I should just grow a pot full of lawn. Anyway, that's all for this one for now. We'll put it back on the bench and we'll keep checking in on it from time to time. So it's the 19th of September so this tree has grown really well it's again it's a tree that I want to grow at a fairly large stature um, I'm sure I will have said earlier in the video it's the uh, Indian bean tree it's one of its common names and it's one of those that has um, long drooping flowers with long pods and that's part of the attraction that I want to grow it for. So obviously you need a largish tree to grow the largish flowers and, and uh, pods. So, and I don't know if I said in the video previously, one of the interesting uh, growing points on this tree, as opposed to many others, um, we're all used to having trees that are alternate leaves. So uh, all there. Oh, what am I trying to say? Alternate leaves, like... Uh, my mind has gone completely blank. Anyway, we all know we have trees that have alternate leaves and we have trees that have... Uh, twin leaves. What is the matter with my brain today? Anyway, this has three. Three leaves from each growing points so if I were to pinch out this growing tip here now we could get three shoots come off so that's going to be quite interesting in terms of um, if you wanted to grow a traditional bonsai tree with a left branch right branch back branch um, picking one option of the three um, but I think I'm probably going to go for a big 
room style tree and I will be, will be looking to put this into a bigger pot come spring uh, not so much repotting it but potting it on into a larger pot maybe I'll get a big pot for it for Christmas you never know if Father Christmas is listening um, or maybe it'll go into a full size seed tray instead of this half size seed tray either way it's going into something bigger um, this piece will probably be removed maybe I'll keep it as a more a longer term sacrifice branch but that would leave a bigger scar here so I may remove it and start a second sacrifice branch we'll see how I feel come spring anyway I'm sure there'll be one more video out of this to see some of its autumn colours got a few leaves dying off at the base here but yeah happy Halloween everybody it's uh, obviously October the 31st and this is where we're going to end this video on the Catalpa Bignoides and uh, yeah, the small child in me still enjoys the word Bignoides Bignoides, Bignoides, Bignoides um, yeah what can we say it's grown really well let me pop the can in for scale I think next year I'm going to pop it into a well, not a bonsai pot but uh, possibly into a larger seed tray to give the roots room to spread out and fuel a bit more growth on this trunk it's going to need chopping back whether I keep this branch um, or not I haven't decided yet let me know what you think could I build a head around it or um, should I lose that which has just been doing a fattening job and uh, start building a head up here somewhere as I know I said before we got this tri leaf pattern where you have three leaves coming from a single point um, that's going to be interesting in terms of managing so we don't get knuckles and bulges if we get three separate shoots come off at one point all in all I think it's going to be an interesting tree thank you so much for watching do the like subscribe commenting thing in the meantime though please 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 do look after yourselves stay safe everybody